Yo, what's going on guys? Cameron here. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to complete the Pandemonium quest, which ultimately gives you the best charm in the game, the Hellfire Torch. Really awesome torch that you guys can use after you're the required level of 75. Gives you plus three to class skills, which is huge. And more specifically in today's guide video, I'm going to be showing you guys the fastest way you guys can farm all the keys that you need. There's three different types of keys, Key of Destruction, Key of Hate, and Key of Terror. When you put all three of these into the cube and then you transmute it here, it's going to open a portal. Now there's three different portals, hence why I have three of each key. Because it's going to be one of each portal that will open where you'll fight an uber boss. Once you've defeated all three of the bosses in each of those portals, you'll get three different parts for summoning the final boss that you'll transmute again in the Herodric cube. To ultimately go back to Uber Tristram where you'll fight Uber Diablo, Bale, and Mephisto. And by the way guys, I do want to mention I have a hammered in here. This is the one I'm using for farming. Hammered ins are amazing for farming because you can use Enigma with them and teleport make them even quicker. Uh, the problem is, is that it's not a character you'd want to use for doing Uber fights. So this is only for getting the keys. I'll do a video in the future on showcasing maybe like a Smite Paladin, a different type of build who is more geared towards fighting those bosses uh, because there's just a bunch of skills that this character is lacking, especially resistance. So I just wanted to sum that up because I honestly believe you should be having two separate characters for this. One you're using for farming, for doing bail runs, Diablo runs, getting gear, looting for runes, and getting keys. But anyways, let's talk about how to farm the fastest way possible. I've learned some, some tricks here um, while I was getting all the gear. So first thing I do want to mention is to teleport in a circle right when you get out of the waypoint. The reason being is you're usually in a very wide area and you'll, in my opinion, you find it the fastest if you kind of teleport in a circle and it just covers the most ground. Whereas if you were to follow the wall, you probably would take a little longer to find it. Just in my humble opinion, this is just one little tip I wanted to give you. When you start off, go in a circle. Um, the next thing I do want to mention here, right when you get in the tower cellar, and we're looking for the Countess, by the way. The Countess is for this act here, the Forgotten Tower. Uh, the Countess drops Key of Terror, and again, we're going to need three of each, right? We're going to need three Key of Terrors. So to do that, I always recommend just going down. If you go down, um, eventually you'll hit a wall and just follow the wall. And the reason being is because it seems like it spawns more down. Um, the levels, uh, just do that for every single level until you get to level five, go all the way down and then just follow the floor. Uh, sometimes it'll be easier to go towards the left rather than the right, but usually you can find it down. See, we did two levels already just by kind of going down and here's the third level going to the fourth level. Um, so I found that to be extremely beneficial for me and like super fast. So now we're all the way at the Countess. And for the Countess, all you're going to do is just go to the opposite side where this room is. So there's this big grand area and just go to the other side and the Countess will be right there. Um, so this is the fastest way to farm her and just kill her as quick as possible. She always drops like two or three runes for me. So I always pick those up even though they're low tier runes. Uh, I think the best I got was a Mal rune from her. But I mean, I'm, I'll take that. A Mal rune is not bad at all. Uh, but yeah, you'll just do that as many times as you can until you get those uh, those keys of terror. And after you got three, we'll move on to the second boss. All right, so jumping into the second boss, it's in Act 2 at Arcane Sanctuary. Um, if you're not rocking Enigma, this will take a lot longer. So what I'd recommend is to make a Blizz Sorceress or just a Sorceress in general. And just really make a farmable character who can teleport it's so much more worth it and it doesn't cost you anything to make a sorceress at least just make one for farming um you don't have to be a billionaire in this game to be able to do that and uh yeah that's just my little recommendation teleporting is basically essential for farming it's gonna save you so much time especially at the arcane sanctuary it's not even funny um but anyways you're gonna just guess basically on this one there's not any way to know for sure i got lucky right away and uh we found him and we dropped a key which, by the way, each of these bosses have about like a 1 in 10, 1 in 12 chance of finding the key. Magic find has nothing to do with it. My 300% magic find is doing nothing. Um, it's the same for runes. Magic find doesn't help for runes or keys or anything like that. It only helps when there's items such as 
helmets, weapons, shields, you know, all those types of things, it can help you get a higher rarity. Um, that's all Magic Find does. So I just wanted to point that out. There's a lot of misconceptions about that. Um, anyways, so you're going to go through the, uh, I know I, I kind of rambled off there, but you're going to go through the Summoner Portal, come back to the Waypoint, go to Act 4, and go to the Pandemonium home base here. And the reason being is because this is going to be the fastest when you log out and go back into your game. Um, it's the smallest map, uh, like town, it's the smallest town. So then you just go to your Waypoint, go back to Arcane Sanctuary, and do it all again. You're just going to go down two blocks, go left a block, go down like five blocks, and then go right one block, and then straight down. And oh my god, we got two and one, so what do you know? Dude, I'd, I'd go crazy if I also got a key there as well, but yeah. Um, so you're just going to keep farming that, open the portal, go to the teleport, go to Pandemonium, uh, save and exit, and I bet we beat the cooldown. Yeah, we did. We did that in 40 seconds. That's insane. There's a minute cooldown between um, like when you can start a game. So yeah, we're just going to chill for a bit. But that's how you're going to do it. You're just going to keep doing that over and over again. You will have to backtrack um, you know, multiple times and go down the other lanes if you don't get it on the first try. All right, so that leads us to our last boss, which you can find in Act 5 and going to Halls of Pain. If you don't have Halls of Pain yet, You'll have to go through the storyline or find somebody to rush you um, because it's for act. Uh, or I think it's for quest number three. Yeah, quest three. And she opens this portal. Basically, you're just going to follow those tunnels until you get Halls of Pain, which happens to be here. So um, my recommendation for this one. So when you have a room like this and it opens at the bottom left, you're going to go down one block to here. Then you're going to go right all the way until you get over here to this little um to halls of anguish but you're not going in there you're going to go up after halls of anguish until you reach halls of vat so that's the fastest way to get to the vat then um you can actually look at the walls here and see where the um, eyes are you see this eye thing um you're going to follow that until you see that there's eyes on the wall here on the inner wall of the hall and then you just follow that down and you will find uh, the little guy here, whatever his name is. The guy that you have to kill, Ny Nylathak, I think, something like that. Oh my god, I'm dead. Um, he does do a lot of damage, so you have to be very careful. We didn't get a key this time, so we will log out. Go back in and heal up. We talk to the uh, Mala, heal up real quick. Go to your um, waypoint again, go to Halls of Pain, and rinse and repeat. So that's basically it. So if you have a room that looks like this, what you're going to do is go down and just keep going down to the bottom left, and you will eventually find the room right here. So I, I know it's kind of confusing, but there's three different rooms that spawn. So this one that opens towards the bottom, uh, the top left, you just go down to the bottom left until you find the room right here. Let me show you some other um, room examples as well. I think there's only one other one we haven't seen. All right, so Halls of Pain and perfect. So this is the other room that I wanted to show you guys. So when you got a room like this, all you're gonna do is go to the top left. That's it, it's top left and it's down, down, there we go. So Halls of Vought, so you go to the top left diagonal kinda and you find it if it looks like that, if there's like four torches in the, in the center. Um, when you have one that looks like this with these four little burning things you just go top left and you'll find it right away saves you so much time i love that there's patterns in this one so again we're looking at the um the walls here and also the inner wall to see where uh he is located so if there's one on the inner hall then you just teleport down until you find him here kill them all 
Um, so there you have it, guys. I'm in a town portal and get the F out of here. Um, that's the fastest way to farm them. Again, you're going to rinse and repeat for all three keys of each of those, those guys. After you got all three, you're good to go. You'll just need a smiter or somebody who's good at Ubering. You guys can do some research on that, I'm sure, to find uh, some some good ways to do that. But let me know if this video helped you guys out. I was able to get all these keys in like two hours, which I feel like is pretty fast considering they only have a 10% drop rate each, each time you fight the boss. So uh, yeah, I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out for now.